Hi, welcome back to the Sugar Hero channel. I'm Elizabeth Lebeau and today I'm going to teach you how to make my favorite key lime pie. This is tangy, it's sweet, it's basically the perfect dessert for summer, and best of all, it's really easy. So here's how you do it. So before we get to the recipe, a quick word about the limes you use. If you want to make a truly authentic or traditional key lime pie, you will need to use key lime juice. Key limes are different from regular limes in a few ways. They're much smaller, about a third the size of regular limes. They also have a slightly different flavor. Key lime juice is brighter and more intense, and some people also find it to be more floral. Key limes can be hard to find, so if Persian limes are what you have available, I think it's completely fine to use those instead. To make the pie, we first need to make a graham cracker pie crust. Start by combining graham cracker crumbs, melted butter, granulated sugar, and salt in a bowl, and stir until everything's well combined. The mixture should have the texture of wet sand and hold together a bit when you squeeze it between your fingers. Press the crust evenly on the bottom and up the sides of a 9 inch pie plate. Bake the crust at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes until it's set and lightly golden. To make the filling, we need 2 tablespoons of fresh lime zest and a cup of lime juice. You want to zest the limes with a microplane before you juice them, it's a lot easier that way. For the juice, if you're using key limes, you'll probably need about 18 to 20 of those little guys. If you're using regular limes, you'll need about 5 large ones or 9 medium ones. Once your lime zest and juice is ready, whisk together 6 egg yolks and 2 cans of sweetened condensed milk until it's nice and smooth. Add the lime zest, lime juice, and a bit of salt, and whisk until it's smooth and well combined. Pour the filling on top of your baked and cooled graham cracker crust. It should come all the way up to the top of the pie shell. Bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes until the center only slightly jiggles when you nudge the pie. Let the pie set completely in the refrigerator, then add the finishing touches. Pipe rosettes of whipped cream all around the outer edge of the pie. Sprinkle some fresh lime zest on the whipped cream and add a twist of lime in the middle to finish it off. This pie is so good. The filling is super smooth and creamy with that perfect balance of sweet and tangy flavors. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun dessert recipes. And as always, happy eating.